And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of Marvel's Agatha All Along, episode 6. The wait is finally over. We finally know who Teen is. So last week, we got the big reveal that Teen is pretty much Billy Maximoff. He had the crown. He had the blue powers. But how did he became to be? How did Billy became this kid, Teen? We had no idea who he was. Teen was just this just random kid. We had no idea until now. So spoilers if you have not caught up. So we first meet Teen, or his real name is William uh, Max Ma Madis Madis Madison. Anyway, his name is William. Nice, normal Jewish kid. Go. He went to literally do his bar mitzvah. You know, celebrating. You know, enjoying becoming a man. And he runs into one of the witches that, you know, who's with Agatha doing the witch's road. The one, the fortune teller one. So he goes to her. She reads his fortune. She senses things. And then she gives him a little talisman with the little squiggly lines that we see on his mouth. Every time he tried to move, you know, talk to people. We never understood who he was. Then something happens where a state of emergency happens because the hex of Wanda Maximoff is starting to, I guess, collapse at, at this point. So him and his family literally take off to try to go home, try to be safe. They get into a car accident, and then from there, William becomes Billy. How is this possible? Hard to hard to say. Doesn't really explain too much. It could have been the talisman. It could have been the hex itself. Could have been something else. They really did not explain it to me. Unless I missed it. And they did explain it. I just didn't understand it. But anyway. Um, so yeah. So now he goes around trying to figure out like why he's not himself anymore. He feels like he's somebody else. He's reading people's minds. So then of course he tries to get answers. He goes online. He meets a crackpot theorist person. Who's been in Westview. We find out that that person is Ralph Boner. A.K.A. Pietro, A.K.A. Quicksilver, and oh man, that part was so much funny. He he, Ralph pretended to be one of those deep throat characters that you see in those old school spy movies, the ones that hide in a, with an overcoat and you know hiding in garages, in the shadows, and they're like I have information you want kind of a character. So we got to see that Ralph became like a really big conspiracy person. So there's that. He fears Agatha. He knows Agatha's still in, in the in Westview. That's what put you know William Billy into Westview in the first place. He writes down a couple of notes about spells, and then he finds out a way to break the spell that Wanda put on Agatha, which is she's been you know there as you know living a sitcom life. We get to see Agatha pretend to be. In the police station where she's literally in her house. She's got a, a gardening a gardening hose as a gun. So that was funny. So we got to see that. Um, we got to see the spell get broken. Because apparently um, William Billy took the locket that Agatha wears. And recite the, the spell from there to break it. He needed something personal from the person he's trying to fix. So he does and then we know the rest. Now we get to the end. The end of the episode where Billy officially tells Wanda, I mean, tells um, Agatha, what exactly does he want? Agatha's like, oh, I get what you want. You want power. I don't want power. Okay, you want your mommy back. No. You want your daddy. Maybe your daddy. You want to go find your daddy. Daddy's not here. You want to go get him back. Nope. Billy wants one thing and one thing only, and that's to bring his brother back, Tommy. He senses him. He senses he's out there. Doesn't have a body of his own. So how is that going to be happening? No idea. Now I'm starting to think that at the end of this episode, we're going to end of the show, which is in two two more episodes, I believe, we're going to see Tommy. Now, whoever they cast as Tommy, we're going to see Tommy. Tommy's coming, a.k.a. Uh, Speed. He's going to show up, which I can't wait to see that character. You know, in live action. And this is eventually going to set up um, Young Avengers. Obviously, they've been teasing Young Avengers for a while. We're going to eventually get it. I mean, maybe a TV show. Maybe a movie. But Wicked and Speed are officially going to be a part of it. Some 
time down the road. Tommy's coming. Maybe not in this uh, this end of this show, but planting the seeds of how he, his soul, his spirit, whatever, comes through and gets a body, and there you go. So, very cool episode. I'm glad we got to see information, you know, kind of about where this kid came from. He was just a normal kid. Something happened. Billy takes over, and now Billy's in this kid's body, and he wants Tommy back. He wants his twin brother. You know, he's a twin. Not only because it's magic, but he can also sense that, you know, twins have that thing. So there's that. We also find out that um, Billy's gay. So that's cool. We got to see him hook up with his boyfriend. That was cool. Um, yeah. And <laughs> just seeing uh, Agatha just um, <laughs> be all, you know, acting like a cop. But she's not a cop. She's in her normal clothes pretending to be a pretending she's actually a cop. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. There's also a cool little Easter egg. If you pay attention in the beginning of the episode, when the family's trying to, was in the car, they're trying to listen to the radio. You can hear, hear clearly, but it happens really quick. You can hear Wanda talking in the background. Maybe it was one of the um, the sitcom episodes. So I guess she was broadcasting on radios as well. So that was cool. That was a cool little Easter egg. So that was pretty fun to see. And um, yeah, I think it was a good episode. I can't. I need to see more. I want to know what the heck is going on. And how Billy is literally in this kid's body and how, how that actually happened. But um, we have to wait and see. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. And stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good night.